Nvidia just dropped enough tech announcements at CES to make your local Best Buy manager hyperventilate. Grab your Jensen Huang style leather jacket and let's dive into this beautiful mess. First up, Nvidia casually announced the RDX 5090 GPU like it's no big deal. This thing is packing 92 billion transistors. Yes, billion with a B. At this point it's less of a graphics card and more of a small sun you can install on your PC. Finally, a GPU powerful enough to run two Electron apps in parallel. Next, they introduced something called Cosmos, which is basically ChatGPT for robots. Instead of generating questionable poetry about your ex at 3am, it helps robots figure out how not to face plan while walking. But the real showstopper was Project Digits, their smallest AI supercomputer yet. It's adorably compact, which means you can now have an AI supercomputer on your desk instead of taking up your entire basement. Though let's be real, you might want to check if your local power grid can handle it. Maybe give your electricity provider a heads up before plugging this bad boy in. Then there is DLSS 4. A Another neat party trick they pulled out of their head. It can generate 3 extra frames for every frame calculated. It's like having a really efficient intern who actually does their work and doesn't spend half the day on TikTok. Plus it doesn't ask for LinkedIn recommendations. They're also partnering with Toyota for autonomous vehicles because apparently cars need to be smarter than their drivers now. Though after seeing some people try to parallel park, maybe that's not such a bad idea. Oh and get this, they're working on physical AI that can predict and evaluate multiple scenarios in the real world. It's like having a super smart robot robot that can actually learn from its mistakes, unlike my ex-roommate who kept putting metal in the microwave just to see what happens. The cherry on top? AI blueprints for RTX PCs and it's all open source. It's a giant digital playground where everyone can come together to create bugs, I mean features. Jensen Huang delivered all of this news while wearing his signature leather jacket, which at this point deserves its own social media account. The man could announce that Nvidia is pivoting to sell artisanal cheese and he'd still look cool doing it. Look, if anyone asks why you need all this processing power, just mumble something about machine learning workflows and walk away mysteriously. Works every time for me. And hey, if you think any of this stuff is expensive, just remember it's still cheaper than therapy after trying to debug a production issue at 10pm on a Friday. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go sell a kidney to a for that sweet RDX 5090.